right. Hey, everybody. It is such a pleasure to be here with you all. Uh, I am João Fiedairo, and I am the client growth lead at Protocol Labs. My team is responsible for helping onboard new clients, new data. Can we get another round of applause for Alex and Seal Storage for getting the LHC? The LHC, it's so cool. They discover the Higgs boson. It's incredible. So it's with partnerships like this that we are seeing an explosive growth in the amount of data that is being onboarded. Just look at that. It's growing really, really fast at an average of 20% every month. We're well on our way to 350 petabytes by the end of the year onboarded. It's with partners like Berkeley, Starling Lab, Mirror, Zora, Internet Archive, OpenSea. Whether you're Web 2 or whether you're Web 3, everybody's benefiting from lower costs, from immutability, from verification. And so everyone's really excited. But none of this could be done without good tooling. And so that's what I'm going to talk about today. There's already some excellent tools that can help you as a data owner to onboard data to the Filecoin network. I want to name a couple. We have Estuary that abstracts a lot of the complexity away and can allow you to execute deals pretty seamlessly. We have storage. Um, we have um, services like Big Data Exchange that enable you to actually auction your data sets and actually be paid for the data that is being onboarded. And then, as you saw outside, we have our friends from Web3.Storage that have built really incredible developer tooling that abstracts, again, a lot of the complexity in onboarding data to the Filecoin network. But I'm here to talk about something new and exciting, a new tool. Before I go there, I actually want to talk about the five steps involved in onboarding data. So step one, extract the data. Data is heavy. Data lives somewhere. And so we need to figure out ways of extracting the data and be able to begin the process of onboarding it to Filecoin. After it's extracted, now you need to prepare the data. We have to chunk it if it's really large, or we have to aggregate it if it's really small. So we have to put it into these boxes, so to speak, that are 32 gigabytes large, and really just prepare everything else for the onboarding in the next few stages. Step three is transformation. We transform all this data into these DAGs, right? these Merkle trees that are at the core of the verifiability that the Filecoin network provides. Once you do this transformation and you have something that's called a car file, now we actually have to distribute it. Data is really heavy. It could go over the wire, but sometimes it also has to go off the wire, literally being shipped in FedEx trucks and airplanes. So we have to figure out better ways of doing this. Finally, once the data is on site with the storage provider, at that point, the deal can be made between a client and a storage provider. So there's five steps that are really important. And what me and my team are building are better ways of abstracting away all this complexity in a way that allows you to have more control over each step and in a way that is better, more performant for very, very large data sets. And so I'm very pleased to announce the launch of Singularity, which is a tool that allows us to do that. Thank you. So Singularity is aimed at consolidating the data onboarding flow that's modular and it's simple. It's free and it's open source. The idea is really to build out components that can be stacked together to really facilitate the data onboarding process and make the whole experience more seamless for a data owner, for a data preparer, or for the storage providers. It doesn't matter whether everything is being done on site, whether it's a client that has a lot of data on prem, and that's where the, these five steps are being done, or whether some of it is being done at the client site and another part is done at the storage provider side. The idea is to really make a more seamless flow. Crucially, it is made to handle large data, very large, terabytes if not petabytes. Some of the tools that I mentioned previously are great. But as I said, data gets pretty heavy. And so when you start to get to the territory over 100, no, maybe, no, maybe even 50 terabytes, it starts to get a little dicey. And so 
there's a big, big thing here that is like really the focus on very large data sets. I'm going to go over a few of the benefits. All right. Benefit one is a really simplification of data processing with a single tool that allows you to do the chunking and aggregation and that allows you to actually keep track of what file is being allocated to which car file. So think of it as all these little pieces that you're collecting and packing up and putting it into your cardboard box as you prepare to move or as you prepare to send that to storage. You need to keep track of everything. You need to have a better, easier way of doing the whole data transformation. It's modular, and crucially, it's S3 compatible. What that means is if your data is on a public S3 endpoint, it can actually just mount that endpoint and start the data processing straight from there, which can be very, very useful for public data sets like Slingshot, which is a tool, uh, sorry, a project that is aimed at onboarding large amounts of public data and that is leveraging this tool called Singularity to facilitate that whole process for data preparers. Thirdly, the robust deal execution engine is great. What this allows you to do is actually specify how and when to actually execute deals with the storage providers, right? If, let's say, I am moving things to my friend's garage, I want to make sure that I show up when he's there. I can't show up with a moving truck full of stuff when the garage is closed. And so by that analogy, we have to make sure that we can tightly coordinate the process of actually taking all the data and transferring it to a storage provider. And finally, indexing and retrieval. When you're talking about petabytes of data, you're dealing with many, many, many deals and many files. And so what this does is it allows you to keep track of all the files in the database and allow you to actually retrieve them later, right? You need to know what each of the files corresponds to on the Filecoin network and be able to pull them. And so these are really important benefits that I feel like you all, as data preparers or storage providers, could really enjoy um, by le leveraging this tool. All right. And so with that, I'm going to close it here. I encourage you all to look at singularity.storage. It's our new tool built with a lot of love by Protocol Labs and several contributors from the community. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can find us in the Singularity channel on the Filecoin Workspace uh, Slack. Um, send us an email. The contact details are also on the singularity.storage website. And I hope you all manage to improve the ability to onboard large data sets, just like the one that Seal Storage managed to onboard now or announced uh, with CERN. We're going to really, really, really have even more explosive growth throughout the next year. And yeah, I'm so excited about all the progress we've made with the best tooling that we have so far. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.